So it's time for a different voice. We can offer that. And we've shown already that we can offer something new. In the UK, we have had a month of major internet-related outrages uh, in the media. And this month, the government got together with ISPs to find a solution that the media liked. As pirates, we pointed out that whilst the government wants to teach children how to use the internet and how to use technology, at the same time it's showing the internet as a place where danger lurks around every digital corner. And it's cutting funding for agencies that help with actual harm online. Now, the solution from them? Filters. Filter anything by default, anything considered adult or radical. We've made the case that regulating the internet in the home is a job for parents and empowering people, not limiting their choices, is important. That government funding, rather than being ploughed into technical measures and filters, should be made available to agencies that can deal with harm. A lot of people listened. We don't, we're not going to see mandatory filters. We will continue to push for funding for SEOPs and for local government to deal with these issues. And a lot of people agreed with us. Now, we're a small party in the UK, but we work hard whether it's opposing the Digital Economy Act or fighting for openness about surveillance or working within our communities. And we are having an impact. The Digital Economy Act is on hold. The issue of surveillance is being talked about on our terms. And where we work, people know who we are. The next challenge is to make sure that education, health, transport and communications infrastructure is fit for purpose. And that we have to protect museums and libraries and that whistleblowers are free from persecution. And we British Piraten wish you an erfolgreichen Wahlkampf. Germany deserves something fresh. Thank you.